I'm sorry about that. This is life with a cat. Hey y'all, I just wanted to do a quick video update on my weight loss and healthy lifestyle program. I usually say this at the end of the videos, but what I'm seeing is that uh, people aren't watching to the end. So I'm going to say it at the beginning. There are things you can do that can help me grow my channel and help the YouTube algorithms share my videos more and therefore get more engagement. The first thing you can do is watch my video all the way through. That's the thing that's the most important to YouTube. They want to see how long people watch and uh, so that's, that's an important metric. The other thing they want to see is engagement. The more engagement you have on your video, the more YouTube will promote it. They'll show it on other people's recommended videos. I did want to just mention, because I think some people are afraid to subscribe, they're afraid that they'll end up with a ton of emails. You have control over your notifications. If you want to get an email, you can set it up that way. I didn't set mine up that way. I get enough email. I imagine most of us do. I have a notification that I get in within the YouTube app on my phone. Every time somebody that I'm subscribed to posts a new video, it just shows up there. You can set it not to make a sound so that it's not dinging and bothering you. So I just wanted to let you know, being a subscriber doesn't mean you're gonna be inundated with email or banners or alerts or anything. The other things that you can do that can really help our YouTube videos is you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Engagement is engagement. So if if you really don't like it, give it a thumbs down, but we're of course hoping that you do like them and that you give us a thumbs up. You can also comment on the video. Comments are weighed very highly in YouTube algorithm land. So give me your thoughts on the video. Tell me what, what you liked about it. Tell me what you didn't like about it. Tell me about what you think of the products I used or didn't use or should use. Any number of things. If there's anything you want to say, put it in the comments. We're so happy every time I hear from you. Last but not least, I don't want to ask you to do anything you don't want to do, but if you enjoyed the video and you have friends that you think might enjoy it too, please share it on your social media. That really is also weighted very heavily in YouTube algorithm land. So thank you for listening to this. I just wanted to insert this right at the beginning and now on to the video. Thank you. I had planned on doing a program with my sister-in-law. She is a health coach. Uh, the program that she uses, however, is a little bit outside of our budget right now. And so what I decided is to do, I talked to my doctor, uh, I'm doing a keto program and I started it about a week ago. I took pictures so that I'll be able to do a before and after. I will insert those pictures. They are probably the least flattering pictures of me anywhere. I'm not going to flash on the video how much I weigh and what my measurements are, but I will include them down in the description box. You'll be able to see as we go along, I'll do a monthly update so that we can, you know, compare the numbers and see how we're doing. Um, I'm actually really pleased that today I put this shirt on. This shirt has been so tight on me since I bought it. I bought it probably a year ago and every time I wore it, it was just uncomfortable because it was just too tight. The shirt pulled, it looked tight, it didn't look good. And uh, I was so excited I put this shirt on today and it fits. It fits like it's supposed to fit. There's actually some extra room in it a little bit. So I am really pleased. Um, just a week in and already something fits that hasn't. So I think this is probably good for me. Uh, my doctor says it's the best plan for me. 
um, because I'm diabetic and I definitely am, I am definitely addicted to sugar. There is no doubt. Uh, sugar is my nemesis. So taking all the sugar and most of the carbs out of my diet is, um, probably my best bet. I would like to be able to reverse the diabetes and that can happen if you stick with it and do what you're supposed to. So I am hoping that in a matter of months I'll be able to stop taking my diabetes medication. I am not an insulin dependent diabetic, but I do use metformin twice a day and I take an in injectable. I will be thrilled to be able to say goodbye to those medications, to giving myself a shot every day, to pricking my fingers three times a day to test my blood. I, I just really would like to, that to all go away. And I think it can. And I think with it will go high blood pressure, high cholesterol, I have a fatty liver, um, and actually Keto diet is supposed to be excellent for a fatty liver. It particularly targets the weight around the middle, and as you may have noticed from my pictures, I am truly an apple shape. It is horrible. It's just hard to look at. It's so upsetting. weight all collected around the middle that is the most dangerous kind of fat you can have so this is really important for me it's really important to take that weight off and the short and round is just not it's just not a good look for anybody that's all I needed to tell you I just wanted to let you know that I have embarked upon this quest and I will keep you updated monthly I am only weighing myself weekly. I'm not gonna make myself crazy with this. I really don't actually care how much I weigh. I care about my health and I care about the way I look. Weight is just a number on a scale, but I also did measure key areas, so we'll be able to see the loss in inches as well. Thanks for supporting me in, in this journey and maybe some of you would like to do it with me. Maybe some of you have some expertise where keto is concerned and when to share tips with me or with everybody uh, in the comments section. So thank you for all your help and sticking with me and I'll see you in my next video. Go out and live your beautiful life.